This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover warp zones. In the map DM Fractal there is a trapdoor that you can activate here. There's a trapdoor as you can see and you activate it by shooting one of these triggers which are on the ground. So if you shoot the trigger these trapdoors will open and the player will fall into this zone. And if I show you the zone view, you can see how it's a different color. So there's a different zone here. And what you'll find inside is a warp zone info. So what happens is when the player is trapped here and falls through this trapdoor, they will land in this warp zone and they will magically warp all the way up to this zone. As you can see, it's another color. And so the player started at the bottom will teleport up here and then drop down. And once they arrive at this spot, they get killed. So let me just quickly show you this in the game. Here are the triggers here. Here's the trap door. And so if the player is up top, they can shoot the trigger. And the trap door will open. Just trying to get a better look at it. It looks like a bottomless pit. So if I come up here and shoot it. So when this trap door is open, the player will look down below and they won't see this floor. They're actually going to see the view from up here. So it's sort of like an endless tunnel. And then they will fall through this tunnel. And here are the special events, which does 10,000 damage to the player. So let's show you how that warp zone is made. As you can see here, I've built two identical tunnels. This one and this one here. And I used the texture set UT Tech 1. I picked a wall texture that is 256 by 256. The height's going to be 256. The width is going to be an exact multiple of 256. And the breadth is also going to be 256. And that's what you have here. And then I selected a wall texture and I also selected a floor, this one here, a floor texture and a ceiling texture, which are also 256 by 256, so that they tile perfectly, and that's important. So the key things here are, I made these identical tunnels so that I could duplicate the exact tiling of the textures. And then when I add my warp zones, you're not gonna be able to tell whether you're in this room or in this room because the textures will be seamless. So let's add the warp zone info. First you need a zone portal. So I've made the brush here. It is going to be slightly larger than the size of this opening. So slightly larger than 256 by 256. So let's put this into position. And make sure that it's aligned in all of the views, like so. So I'm getting ready to add my zone portal here.
and what you want to do is you want to pick a texture that has some writing on it so red base or blue base as an example you can pick anything but it's got to have the writing because you have to see the orientation of the brush so you come here to add special brush change this to a zone portal which will make it a zone portal and invisible and non-solid and now I click OK now you can't see it until I turn off the real-time preview there it is and you can see that the lettering is flipped and that's going to be important when we do our next step so I have a zone portal and if I rebuild right now and click on zone view you can see that's in a different zone and this is where your warp zone info has to go so we come up here to the actor browser actor info zone info warp zone info and you got to just put it right inside this new zone so there it is that's one part and looking at the top here let's call this one the left tube and this one the right tube so you right click on your warp zone and in the properties here you need two things what the other side URL is going to be and what this one's going to be so let's call this one left and the other one right So that means that you are in the left warp zone and you're going to be teleported to the right one. So the next thing we need to do now is to build another zone portal. Let's take this brush. Let me move away the red one. There's the green one. And let's just simply duplicate it. Right click, duplicate, drag this one over. But this is very important because as you can imagine, the player is coming here in this direction towards the warp zone. So when they come out, they're actually facing the other way. They're coming out this way, like so. So it's important that you change the orientation of that zone portal brush to match so that it's the same view that they get. So I have to take this one, and while it's selected, click on this button here the brush rotate and I need to rotate this 180 degrees so you hold down the control key hold down the right mouse button and drag okay and when you're ready to go then you can go back to camera mode here so now let me re let me show the texture view rebuild for you so there you can see the difference. You can see how this is flipped and then when you go into the other room it's the proper way. So that's how you know that you've properly rotated your brush. So remember the player is starting here. They're going to come through here, hit the warp zone, and then when they hit the warp zone they're going to teleport to this other hallway and you can see the same orientation of the brush. So the last thing I need to do now is to add another warp zone in here. Let's go into zone view. And remember, I have to add it in this tiny zone here. And now we're only doing it one way. So here, you only need to put the one tag, which is right. Because remember, the other one was called left. Next, I'm just going to add one light for now. And since we have two identical hallways, you can't tell which one is which. So let me just, as a an aid I'm gonna add an extra item let's suppose that 
in this one we'll add in this one we're going to add a health file so remember that's in the other one and this one we need to add a player start and make sure the player starts facing the right direction so there it is there you can see how it's selected because it's green click on the brush rotate hold down control and the right mouse button and drag until you've got the proper facing direction go back to camera mode and let's just add one more piece of deco on this side so you can tell which side we're on. And so we're done. So we have a player start in the left hallway. We have a warp zone info right in here. This is the teleporting part. And then you're gonna come out this way, facing this direction, here's the warp zone, and you're gonna come out, and you're gonna see the health file. So let's try this in game. So as you can see, I am actually in the left hallway, cause here's the intro dude. But I'm actually able to see the other hallway because you see there's the health file so to the player they think this is one long hallway but actually when I come in I'm now in the other hallway and as you can see the intro dude is gone now let's show you the final product I'm just going to turn on real-time preview here so that you know so I have a player start here and the intro dude and I did the same thing I have one zone warp zone here and another warp zone here but what I did this time is I went full circle so meaning you come in here you warp and when you warp you're gonna arrive in this zone and when you come out you're gonna see the health file but what I did to close the loop is I added another zone here and another warp zone info so now when I get the health file I'm gonna hit this warp zone and come back out into the original one so all I've done is I've closed the loop so let's take a look at this in the game So I'm in the first hallway because the intro dude is right here. But I can see the health file, which is in the other hallway. And because I used exact dimensions of 1024, that is an exact multiple of the texture, it's seamless. Like you can't tell which the only way you can tell is because I have the dude. So that's how you know and also because I changed the texture on the other wall. So as you can see that that texture in the back there keeps changing. That's the only way you can tell that you've changed the hallway that you're in. If I'd kept every texture the same, this would be like an endless hallway. And there's a little bit of a camera shake every time you cross the portal and that you can't help so unfortunately that would be the only thing that's preventing you from having a completely seamless experience here so in summary the warp zone info works just like a teleporter except that you can see your destination and so there's lots of cool opportunities you could use. I've never used it in a deathmatch map, but certainly in things like Assault, Capture the Flag, or a single player mod, there's a lot of different creative things you can do with this.